today's topic is about something called gene editing very simple uh, i'd like to just put a smaller thing on this so fundamentally you know the concept of editing so when do you edit when there is a mistake or you want a change any of these two quantities are really required when you want any of these things you will do edit editing work so just like you are on your microsoft word what you do you cut it and then you rearrange it and then you paste it so what you do is you cut and then paste the new thing that is fundamentally what happens with respect to editing so on a similar basis the concept of gene editing so what happens here is the concept is very simple for example if this is your cell inside the cell you have nucleus in the nucleus you will have sets of chromosomes so these are all chromosomes now these chromosomes are the genetic material so if there is any disease for example sickle cell anemia is there with you which has been recently in news so you can use this gene editing process to fundamentally clear that kind of disease so what happens is here the chromosome is there now let's assume that the defective chromosome piece is something like this and uh, let's say this part of the coding is the reason why a particular disease happens so what happens is there are two people who will come they'll come here they will slice this or they will cut it out and along with them they bring the better part and attach it to it that is what happens in gene editing in very simple words the defective chromosome in that small part is cut the body mechanism will realize okay there is a change in the chromosome somewhere there is a problem so obviously every body mechanism will have its own uh, genetic material development mechanism or machinery in it so once it realizes that something is wrong the change has happened this new structure will get added to here and a new chromosome which is undefective not defective will be formed and slowly the body machinery will start accepting this format this is called gene editing so it has been recently in news because of wanting to utilize gene edi ed addition process to clear sickle cell anemia so under that process this news has been brought therefore the concept of gene editing so let's look into what is gene editing and all that so under that please look here crispr clustered regulatory interspaced short palindromic repeats this is what you have to remember for your prelims c i i s p r clustered regulatory interspaced short palindromic repeats this concept utilizes the process of gene editing fundamentally so how it is done please look at this one what is it all about it is a genome editing technology it removes adds or alters the sections of the dna sequence so in this majorly there are two parts i told you there are two people who will come and remove and cut and paste so these guys are those fellows one is cas9 fundamentally this cas9 is actually an enzyme what is an enzyme enzyme is nothing but it is a protein what is the function of this protein it actually acts as a catalyst for faster since it's a catalyst it accelerates the chemical reactions and the sequencing within the body so this is fundamentally an enzyme it's a protein and it accelerates reaction so that is a key molecule so what it does is it works as the scissors part the cutter who cuts the defective gene so he does that but how does this fellow know how does cas9 know which part of the chromosome to cut there should be a guide 
there should be a teacher or a guru who should tell okay here is where you have to cut there should be an identifier that identifier molecule is grna so fundamentally this is a second key molecule and what this fellow does is it finds and binds it finds he comes cuts it binds a new one and a new chromosome is created and that is usually undefective so this is what happens in this technology the next part please look here what happens dna editing cas9 first key molecule to access the scissors this the gna this works as find and bind so the guide is this rna ribo <coughs> ribo nucleic acid and cuts across both the strands of the dna cell recognizes the dna of the damaged part and the dna repair mechanism is used to introduce the changes this is what happens in how the process happens is this so editing work so these two are very useful for your prelims so cas9 and what is cas9 fundamentally i told you it's an enzyme enzyme means it's a protein which accelerates chemical reactions very simple next what is the good part of it it is faster and cheaper high accuracy and it is viable compared to gen genetically modified crops and there can be a huge development in health this can be utilized even in agriculture practices and example japan is using for tomato currently so these are the pans this you can use it main scale ye as an example fundamentally you can say the gene editing can be used to bring a lot of change in agriculture agriculture as well as human health services you can just use it for that and this can be used for prelims apart from the molecules of that so good part what is the defective part the biological concern is once the chromosome changes for some time let's say everything is fine the problem with chromosomal changes there are a lot of mutations which happen mutation means changes let's say if the changes are for good excellent but what if the changes suddenly mutate in such a way that it becomes bad the problem is the mutations with the current generation will be transgressed to the next generation that means from the father it goes to the kid and from the kid it goes to the grand kid and it becomes inheritance of defective pieces and that is a problem so see this process is not 100% accurate as of now therefore the problem is that so mutations will have side effects so transgression to the next generation and this is one thing usually currently though it is cheaper even the cheap cost is very costlier for the poor so if gene modification happens and gene editing services are brought into the market it is always captured maximum by the rich and again there will be a huge difference for gene editing process between the rich and the poor therefore that gap is called gene gap that's the point and moving on for india what is the situation it is still an infant stage it is growing steadily problem is of funding and investment so which which a uh, committee does that genetic engineering appraisal committee it comes under the ministry of environment forest and climate change and final technical body that certifies a genetically modified product as safe for commercial release so what you have to remember for your prelims is this genetic engineering appraisal committee and it comes under ministry of environment forest and climate change this is what today's topic is all about so that is called crispr very important thank you